Seeing him in Hollywood. So I came out to, that was my first trip here. I came out to Hollywood. I was there for seven days. He showed up in the gym one day at seven. Freddie came into the gym one day and he goes, uh, he goes, listen, I don't train people to lose fights. You're not, you're not doing your, you're not running. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. I'm going back to Las Vegas. He said, you know, you tell me you like boxing. I said, you respect the sport. You show up one day out of seven, you waste my time. I ripped him so bad, he actually cried. I was making all kinds of excuses because my head was crazy because of my old lady. Freddie, in tears, Freddie packed his bags and went back to Las Vegas. And he called me every day for 30 days. And then, um... Finally, I said to him, okay, if I come back, the next day you have off is the one I give you. And you know what? I tried Mickey Rourke how to train for yeah, He had discipline in his life for the first time, I think, ever. Until Freddie humiliated me and embarrassed me and reduced me to the fact that I was not giving 100%. I was not being a professional. And I was setting myself up to not be as good as I could be. Roach trained Rourke for seven fights. When he had had enough and retired, Rourke sold the gym he owned and gave his old trainer the leftover equipment, much of which can still be found in the wild card. These days, Shane Lanford sits on the ring apron during sparring sessions, observing the action and taking notes on small post-its. Someday, he says, he'll be training fighters himself and telling them the story of how the great Freddie Roach rescued him from the streets. In Las Vegas, Floyd Mayweather and Ricky Hatton appear to be briskly in step at the IBA gym. got to see this. What about this, huh? 56 years old. Get up in the morning, eat cake, drink Kool-Aid, candy bars, cookies. That's what I get. If age isn't a burden, neither is modesty. Watch me! Watch me! I got it. But beneath the bravado, there is a candor of what long ago went unfulfilled. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, Floyd Mayweather. I didn't do that good when I was a professional fighter. You know, I just had a, I just had a bad career. Popping right hand by Floyd Mayweather. I had speed galore, you know. And not only speed, I had the mind, the brain, you know, to execute whatever it is that I wanted to do. You know, I had to be fast then, man. I'm fast now. I was one hell of a fighter that never got the break. Floyd Mayweather, a very, very big win. Because I got shot early in my career. I got shot with a 20 gauge shotgun. And I was holding my son when I got shot. I was holding little Floyd. Little Floyd was one year old at the time. Little Floyd eventually developed into perhaps the greatest boxer of his generation. But along the way, his relationship with his father crumbled. They have spoken little in nine years. I really do hope that one day me and my son get back together. The Floyd is my, the Floyd is my blood. He's my blood. My blood run through him. You know, uh, uh, the thing is, is he said that he would die for his mother. He would die for his mother. But I guess he would put up a fight for his daddy. 
But you know what? That ain't true with me. That's my son. You know what? I go down if he go down. You need to come together and be a family and love each other. That's all. That's it. I could have never imagined how my life was going to be, especially a guy that dropped out of school. You know? So, you know, and I'm just here to tell you that I'm, I'm very blessed. The Lord has blessed me, and I'm going to bless my peoples. If fighting is a pursuit rooted in pain, you'll find the best teachers have often absorbed the most punishment themselves and remain standing. Inevitably, boxers are left alone in the ring, but not before those closest to them shape the journey that takes them there. Part 3 of the four-part series Pacquiao Hatton 24-7 premieres next Saturday, April 25th, the replay immediately following live boxing that night. And May 2nd, don't miss the fight, Manny Pacquiao and Ricky Hatton, live on HBO Pay-Per-View. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.